welcome again. In today's video I shall be speaking about multi-start threads and I will discuss uh, what they are, what they're used for and two methods of um, how they're manufactured on a lathe and finally there will be a practical demonstration of actually cutting a multi-start thread. So uh, I'll swing the camera around and I'll join you back at the bench in a moment. See you soon. Bye. So hello. What are multi-start threads? Well, this as uh, is only a, a, as you can as you may well recognise. It's, ju it's just a standard conventional bolt, and it's only got a, uh, a single spiral down the whole length. Whereas um, a multi-start thread has uh, has more than one start. So as an example, um, here in Australia, um, we have this milk bottle has an eight start thread on it. So half a turn and it comes on and off. Now another good example is um, glass pickle jars. They're usually four, five, six start threads so that you can um, you know, instantly uh, get the lid off with, with no problem. And another, another thing that you may well recognize is a um, SLR um, camera. Uh, so to, to, to change the um, to change the focal length, as you see, the fraction of a turn um, makes the uh, lens go in and out a large amount. That is that is the main reason for it. Is is the it's 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 a mechanical advantage. Um, you need a lot less um, turn. Now with that bolt, now I mean, say say for argument's sake that this 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 bolt was was um, where are we? This bolt was um, it isn't, but it say it was four TPI. You would actually need. Um, four turns of that to get it to move an inch whereas of course if you had a four start thread you only need one turn to uh, to get it to go that that far so what I should now do is to go on and describe um, two methods of, uh, of cutting um, multi start threads on a conventional uh, lathe I'll join you in a moment Now what you're seeing here is only is only a two gears out of a setup. The, the ideal situation is is that you set your um, uh, lead screw uh, lay so that the lead screw cuts four threads per inch. And the idea is is that uh, if you're cutting a, a four start thread, you, you need you need a gear that is that is um, divisible by four. Um, this one can be. Any number at all, and the, and, the, and the idea thing is is the, is that you the the uh, the gear that doesn't matter is is that you mark the twos, and on the on the uh, index of one you actually mark the valley, and, you, and as I say, and I've, and I've actually picked a sixty tooth um, gear because that's uh, that's divisible four by four, and, and, you, and in fact you can get it you can get a, a two star, three star, four star, five star, six star, and ten star gear. Uh, uh, thread all that all that is one gear now the the um the idea is is that you uh, as i say you 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 set your lathe up um for conventional uh, screw cutting set your uh, compound to 29 and a half or or 30 degrees <clears throat> and what you have to bear in mind is is that um when you're taking your depth of cut you don't take the depth of cut for a 4 TPI thread it's for a 16 TPI thread and the reason being is you're cutting 4 threads per inch and 4 starts so 4 4 is 16 so just make sure that you uh, when you're taking your depth of cut that you uh, that you've set it for a 16 a TPI thread now <coughs> You want to bear, bear in mind that, that if you're cutting a, uh, a metric thread on an imperial lathe or an imperial thread on a, on a metric lathe, you must keep the nut engaged at all times. Um, uh, otherwise otherwise you'll, you'll get problems. Now the other thing is, they, that although your, your, your lathe instructions may say, oh OK, you can, when cutting a 4 TPI thread, you can drop it in on any number or any line. Uh, I think to be on the safe side that you should um, whatever number that you've engaged it in for for cutting the first thread just just wait the extra few seconds for that to number to come round again rather than if you drop it in they say you can drop it in but you know if it goes wrong of course you've got a you've got a lot of um, uh, got got a lot of problems on your hand. Now the idea is 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 to finish be, be, because this is quite um, time consuming. Um, uh, 
it, finish the thread to, to, to depth and take your spring cuts because what you've actually got to do is after you've finished your first cut you've actually got to stop the machine open the cover part these gears and rotate it round until the next one lines up like that and then obviously you, you you put it all back together and cut your second do your second cut to that you then stop the machine again part this rotate it round for your uh, third attempt cut your third thread and eventually of course you is is we come you've got to do the whole thing for fourth time and go all the way around and and do it again for that now as i say it's 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 uh it's a very 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 slow process now if you're only cutting a short thread of course it's going to take you a lot longer to 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 keep part in all this and turning it all around than it is to actually um cut the thread so um what i'm going to do now is to uh speak of an alternative method join me in a moment bye right now with this um a second method um, you don't need to disengage the uh, gears at all um, because it what you do is is you actually set your uh, compound to uh, 90 degrees as some lathe manufacturers call it as, as long as the the compound is parallel to the axis of the spindle and uh, you then use uh, you know this 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 type of tool, you know, uh, it didn't needn't be a thread insert, but you know, I mean, you can do it with a standard high-speed steel tool. Um, but as I say, but this is this is you are you are plunging it in um, uh, to, to depth. Now the now the the, um, the 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 rules apply for the um, uh, you know don't disengage your half nut and all that sort of thing. But uh, what you need to do is is um, for your first cut, you you make sure that you've set your um, when, when when using this is is that you set the uh, compound dial to zero. So you do your first cut and make sure that's all down to uh, you know down to depth and and uh, spring cuts etc. And then what you need to do is is to uh, withdraw the tool to, to clear and then advance your um, compound dial by sixty two and a half hour and then lock it up and uh, take your second cut. You then proceed to do, uh, you return it to the start again and then for your um, uh, third cut, um, you will then uh, advance it a further 62 and a half hour, making it 125 that you, you've uh, moved it. And you do your third cut, your third cut. And then uh, finally, you you uh, advance the compound dial to one eight seven five, which is three sixteenths, and do your fourth cut. Um, it's a lot simpler and uh, quicker method of doing it, but uh, there are pros and cons that I will um, discuss a little later. So I think what we're going to do now is to go over to the lathe and. Uh, I'll give you a demonstration of it. So join me over there. I'll see you soon. Bye. All right. Hello and welcome. Now here we are at my uh, Hardin's lathe, about to uh, demonstrate the uh, four start threading. Now um, I should be making a, a separate video uh, of, of, of how this lathe uh, works in screw cutting but as I say it's totally different to a conventional lathe um, with this the lead screw the, the half nut is engaged at all times and uh, it, it's the, the forward and reverse is actually done by um, this lever um, <coughs> there's, a, there's a stop set at the bottom um, so that the, the, the carriage will feed instantly up to the when it hits the stop um, the, the the machine will continue to run, so you, you no need to cut a, a, a uh, undercut for the thread to run into. It will actually um, actually do it itself. Uh, so what I'll what I'll just uh, demonstrate to you now is 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 this working because I'm I'm hoping to film this from overhead, so you're actually just seeing the the screw cutting. So um, you won't see these the, the levers in operation. Now with this machine, you can actually you can actually thread at um, at normal machining speed, but I've, I've slowed it down for this to say because it's only four TPI and it's very very quick. So what I'll do is is say I'll, the, the the tool is well away from the from the part. So what I'll do is I'll start it up. So when you're ready when you're ready to cut, 
and it stops. You wind your, you wind your tool away, back to the start, stop, put another cut on, out, back, another cut, until, it, until it's finished. So um, that's, that's the general uh, principle of it. So what I'll do now is to um, turn that off to start with. I'll, uh, I'll now move the camera over to the uh, get it above with a buildable shot and we'll um, uh, let you see it all in action. I'll catch you again soon. Bye. Right, so uh, here we are, ready to go. As I say, just to remind you, the latest set the 4 TPR, we're doing a 4 start thread. You've got to remember to um, the depth of cut of the screw, because it's going to turn out a 16 TPR, you only need to set this thread depth for 16 TPI. And in this instance, it happens to be 40 thou. So what I intend to do is I'm going to do uh, three cuts of 10 thou, two cuts of 5 thou, and uh, two spring cuts. So here we go. And, and by the way, this is this is this is brass. I've um, just made it black, so it's actually we can actually see the thread. So let's say I've got my phone. I'll set the I'll set the compound to uh, to zero, and. Uh, Let's see what, uh, what sort of mess I can make of this. Put that out. Back. Put it on to... And you, you notice how that then, when it stops, we have now got a continuous groove down there now, so there's no... There's no... Uh, don't have to worry about an, under, about an undercut. Um, right. So this, this, this is the third 10 tower cut. And this is the... Um, Uh, final five thousand cut. So I was sort of a bit hesitant there. I was, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. So I've not done this before. So uh, you know, making sure I don't uh, do something and cause by the accident. Right. So okay. So that's uh, that's that. We'll, we'll, we'll do two spring cuts. First spring cut. Second spring cut. In fact, what I what I do is I will take a third spring cut just to just to check whether it's going to take anything or not. Third spring cut. No, it didn't. So there we are. So right, back to the start. Stop the machine. And I don't know whether you can actually make that make that out now amongst the. Uh, there we so we, we we got a very very cool thread uh, for TPI. So what I'm now going to do is, uh, is I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, I'm slacking the locking clamp on the uh, cross slide. I'm now going to advance it 62 and a half south, 50, 61, 62 and a half. All right, and we are now going to go. Um, where are we? We'll put a. We'll put a uh, then take cut on again and away we go again. Right, back to the start. Another ten tail cut. Ten tail cut. Final ten tail cut. We'll do two spring cuts. Or maybe three. Two 
I can say one thing, I've done three on the other one. Because what, what, what you need to do is to make sure that whatever you do to one, you do to all of them. Otherwise, you know, there, there, there could be potential um, uh, um, binding. So, back to the start, got the machine. And you can now see that we've got, uh, we've got two there. So what I need to do is, is slacken the lock off. Advance it another hundred and uh, another sixty-two thou, taking it around to a hundred and twenty-five in total. Lock that off, and then uh, oh, we will put a, a ten tow cut on, and away we go again for cut three. I think David missed the cut on that one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Right. This is a little nerve wracking, you know. It's um. Right. Let's do spring cut. Spring cut. Spring cut. It another 62 and a half hour which makes it uh, 1875 and 7850 uh, uh, well we've lost yourself one point oh a minute that is Davis confused himself. 125 plus another. Oh, man, 125. Five, six, seven, five. There we are. Sorry about that. Davis confused himself a bit. All right. We now put uh, ten tower cut. Not the sound of that. I think I think some I think something's gonna miss here. So never mind. It's all a big big learning curve, isn't it? Yeah. Doesn't something something doesn't sound right there towards the end. We will have a look in a minute. Anyway, we'll just finish this off. That last, that last bit looks a bit, uh, looks a bit dicky to me. And there we are. Now, in, now in theory, that should be finished. Um, what the hell happened there? I don't know what the hell's happened there. Really don't. It's, uh, it's gone amok. I think what we'll um, what we'll do is try it again. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Um, so as I say, big, 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 big learning curve. Um, I'll just take it out of here now, and I'll just show you. I deliberately didn't um, didn't put a um, a chamfer on the end so that we can. Uh, where are we? Can we get this in? Uh, get this in. Into focus. Yeah, can, we, can we make out now that we have that we have force that we have? We're getting that. Come on, focus, you little monkey. Let's let's try. Something. Ah, there we are. 
Uh, yeah, we got we got four starts. We got we got this one start. There's a second start. Here's the third start, and there's the fourth one. So uh, sorry about that little thingy. I think what we'll have to do is um, have another go. Uh, now it's a loser's there. You know, it's uh, it's Saturday. Got nothing else better to do. So uh, join me again in a moment, and I'll set it up, and we will have another go. Catch you soon. Bye. Well, oh, hello again. Here I am back. Um, I think there must be something the matter with my lathe because I've, I've had four goes at it. I mean, the the, uh, the 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 up to here, as far as there. I mean, the the the, 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 the thread is fine. No problem at all with this. It's just this. Um, it's just this last bit here. It's all. Um, you know, I mean, it's almost as though it's sort of trying to jump half a thread or what it was. I mean, I. I I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not supposed to be showing you how to um, how to do it, but I mean, to say it, it's a, but it works fine in principle. To say I'm I'm, I'm convinced that uh, considering I've done it four times now, and this happens in exactly the same place each time, I think there must be a problem that I've got with my um, lathe. So um, yeah, sorry sorry about that. Um, yeah, I suppose what we can actually do is I will take this out and show you it again on the end. If, if we get it out, can we get it out, Davy? Come on. What's the matter with you? Why can't we get it out of Corrie? Ah, there we are. Right. Um, now, are we able to focus that a bit? Yes, we can just we can just about see it. Say so that we that we. So I didn't didn't show him video in here, but you can see that we got. You know, th there's one start. There's another start. There's the third start. I don't know where the fourth one is, can't see it for a minute. Um, but it is, it, oh, it's there. So that's one, two, three, four. So, sorry, out of that short again. Um, yeah, so, um, sorry about that. I um, don't know what, what we can do about that. I think, I think I'll think I'll, I'll, I'll leave this as it is. I mean, at least it's, it, 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 it's showing you the, uh, the, the the principles behind it. And the same, what I'll do is, um, you know, I'll, I'll investigate and uh, and take it further. So, I think what we we'll do is is we'll uh, we'll adjourn indoors and uh, have a little discussion over this and uh, join you indoors in a moment. Bye. Well, there we are then. I hope you found that uh, interesting. I, I certainly did. Um, that's the first multi start thread that I've ever cut in over in over fifty years. So. Um, you know, I think we've uh, hopefully both learned something out of that. Now, of course, that's only half the uh, the problem at the moment. Of course, say because you've, you've you've still got the nut to do. But uh, I'll um I'll I'll speak about that a little bit later. Now, as you, as you've seen, um, you know, from from the description, um, you know, the 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 old method, you know, of, of uh, working at twenty nine and a half thirty degrees and and um, and uh, disengaging the, 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 the gears when required. Um, although um, it's quite time consuming, um, has the possibility of being uh, much more accurate than, than, than what you've just seen. Uh, the reason being, of course, is, is that you are always using uh, the same part of the um, compound each time. So, I mean, any, anywhere in the compound or, or, or any inaccuracies in the uh, Compound lead screw and, and nut. Um, uh, it, it doesn't matter because, because as I say, you're using the identical part um, each time. Whereas, of course, with the method that you've just seen, of course, is that there, there are there are um, variables. I mean, it could be because, as I say, because you're using a different part of the um, of the compound, or be it, it, it's only three sixteenths, but I mean, who, who knows how bad your your um, lead screws are, or or, or, or anywhere in the um, in in the compound side itself. And uh, of course, the the uh, the biggest uh, unknown factor, of course, is you, um, because um, you know you, you operate in it. Of course, you know you you've got to make sure that uh, you know you've you've, you've you know you've wound it on. 62 thou um, each time. I mean, say for argument's sake that uh, on one of them you, you only made it 61 and a half, 
and then on one of the other threads you made it uh, 63 and a half all right yes you're only one thou off of off, off the mean but of course but you've got a compound error of, 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 of two thou on on um over two threads and of course if you happen to do that do the same on on, on the nut i mean there's a, there's a possibility there being a four tower pitch error so i said it's quite uh, it's quite critical on on um you know you've got to make sure that you you you're, you know keep your mind on the job uh, and and hopefully that it, it'll it'll come out now um as i say i've, I've never cut one but I, I did work did work with a guy at, at, at phillips who, who before he came to phillips he worked for a lens um manufacturer and uh you know he he, he was well into uh, into multi-start threads but he said you know even doing it all the time he said it's not he says it's not easy he said and quite often he said what you had to do was to um uh because lenses you do you didn't want any slack in them so the the, the uh the best situation was 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 to, you know you, you tried it in all positions say well okay this is this is about the the, the best fit it's still tight um, so he said, "What they used to do, he said, they used to mark it and lap it in, so that uh, you know that that uh, that sleeve, that that nut and thread um, was 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 perfect for lens mechanism. Um, but uh, it would only it would only do that in in one particular um, situation. So I think um, what we ought to do now is is uh, perhaps go out and uh, and see if we can make the nut myself and and see how well that." Uh, happens to turn out well uh, join me outside and we shall begin uh, hopefully making the nut and getting a reasonable fit onto the screw that we just made so join me again outside and we'll, uh, we'll proceed to make the nut catch you outside at the lathe bye well hello there um, here we are I've actually uh, managed to get it to fit um, your, my mate was real dead right and he said when it's difficult why is it very difficult it's taken me over an hour and a half to, to get to this point so I'll just uh, demonstrate a little bit as I say there's a turn that around from here yeah there's a, there's a there's a black mark on there and what I've actually done is I've put a black mark on this uh, on there which is which is which is one of the starts so um watch out we don't strip it see and that's and that screws in Quite reasonable. Um, just turn it round to one of the other positions. Hear that? Bit of wobble in that one. Turn it round to another one. I think we've already had that one. Sorry. Ah, yeah, yeah. That was quite quite tight. So as you can see, you know the, the you know slightest. Um, if you want a precision fit, um, it's <laughs> you've got a job and a half on your hands. So I can quite well see well why that he used to, uh, you know, lap it in in one position only. Anyway. Um, so I thought, oh, and the other thing is, I don't know what you actually noticed, what I've actually did with, with the, uh, I, I removed all that, that um, I undercut all that, all that um, bare bit that was on there and put, and put a nice chamfer on the end. So what I'll actually do now is, is I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just give you just a, just a couple of run-throughs of, of, of the procedure. Um, I mean, it's, 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 no, it's no different than, uh, than doing it, um, what we've already done, but it's, it's uh, now externally. So... Um, uh, so, so the, the so the situation will be. That, uh, let me just start that up. I'll get it a bit closer for you. So the situation will is is the same. Is is that you set your um, compound to zero for the first cut, and then in and out, in and out until you're happy with it, and then uh, advance at 62 and a half, and in and out, in and out again and uh, keep on going until you've, until you've done all four cuts so um, as I say it's, it's, uh, you, haven't, uh, you haven't missed much by uh, you know I'm sure you wouldn't have wanted to watch this the troubles I was having with it for uh, over an hour and a half so um, you know I think uh, you know we'll, we'll, we'll leave it be as that I'll um, 
disconnect that and wind that out of the way. Um, so as I say, yeah, it's, it's um, you know, I'm quite, quite, quite pleased with it. I mean, I'm sorry you didn't see the, you know, uh, it goes. In. And do you know what? I'm, 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 I'm misinformed. I, I've, I've always, I, I always believed that a multi-start thread would, would make it work quicker. But I mean, this, this, this thread is three quarters of an inch long. And it still takes me three turns to screw it in. So. Um, yeah, I don't know where I got that bit of information that I told you earlier. That uh, you know, if you've got a four start thread with a, with a with a four TPI uh, nut, you know that that with four starts it'll go on in one turn. Um, I don't know where I got that information from, but uh, um, yeah. So there we are. She she goes in quite uh, quite merrily. Oh, that, that, yeah, a little bit tight, yeah, but you know, I'm I'm pleased with it. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll uh, conclude out here. Um, I've had, had enough with this uh, fiddling with this machine. I've been at it now for about uh, about four hours doing this, uh, setting it all up and doing this demonstration. So uh, I've had enough. So I think we'll we'll go in now and uh, into the house and conclude, and then um, that's it. You know, I better get it uploaded, I suppose. Right, um, over and out for now. I will join you in the house in a moment for the uh, for the conclusion see you soon bye well hello again well as you see we uh, we managed to get a, a reasonable job out of it in the end um you know it's it's uh, i'm i'm pleased that i've uh, i've had a go at it at least now i can say that uh, if anybody asks me yes i i have got a uh, a multi-start thread so uh anyway thanks once again for watching um, please subscribe, ring the bell, click the likes and send me a comment and wherever you are in the world, until we meet again, please stay safe, happy and well and catch you on the next one. Bye!